What's up, everyone? and welcome back to a new episode of App Review. In the past, I asked a few times for submissions to the App Review, and now my list is longer than I can work on. So today we will tackle three of those applications. One is a very old school uh, cycling manager, which we can play as a progressive web app or on Android. The second application is a pet finder with really great UI. I've already seen it. And the third application is a meme generator, which looks like it has some very interesting functionalities within an Ionic application that I'm kind of jealous of and want to know more about. Although I have a lot of applications for the next time, let me know yours below in the comments. I might pick yours for the next app review, which we will have in a few weeks once we've covered all the other important topics. But for today, let's dive into it. <laughs> First app is called Peloton. It's actually not related to the very expensive bike that you can buy, but it should be an old school cycling manager. Also available for Android, not available for iOS, but I think this application is actually a progressive web app. So let's give it a try on my device. I think we can look at it as a progressive web app. Uh, would you mind watch tutorial? Uh, I usually don't do this. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't do this. I want to stick in the application. Uh, I get a lot of job offers. Looks like uh, maybe I should have watched the tutorial. Okay, the first thing I notice is <laughs> actually kind of like that blinking text. It gets my attention, uh, but I don't like how this is not covering the full width and this is not aligned in the center. I know it's really super unimportant, but that's just what I got. Uh, sign up with your Google account. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Looks like that application is actually using Firebase. Also, always nice to uh, get that information from specific elements included in application. Um, it looks like I can do, um, I feel like the first thing should be to edit my team. Uh, so my identifier is default 2020. Oh, this needs to be Simon's team, of course. And then uh, I can take a look at different other teams and racers. How can I hire those racers? I just want to have, this is my team. How can I get into uh, an event? I want to have a race somewhere. Do I really have to sign up? Choose language, English and Espanol. Mm, no, I'm fine with English for today. I feel like every entry brings me to the same page. Uh, I really don't know where to start this. Okay, it looks like I missed that little button start game down here. Do you want to start anew with your custom initial data or your... Yeah, of course. So there's uh, the page I clicked away <laughs> uh, some time ago. Well, it is really uh, a very basic... I, I think that application focuses really on the, the fun of playing. So it's not really about the UI. Uh, I could say a lot about these buttons and this uh, maybe being a text input field. Um, but I don't want to highlight that too much. So can I just, are you sure want to accept a new position? Yeah. Okay, we're finally into the game. Um, we see the manager confidence and we can now most likely go to a race by clicking on this. So uh, we see a bit of problems up here. Uh, section one of 300 kilometers. Um, how can I just start the race? So it's really not very intuitive. Um, but I feel like now the game is on. We are racing, uh, we have a lot of puncture in this game. Um, section two, can I do anything right here? I really don't know. Uh, I will just continue my simulation. I really like these kind of games. It really reminds me of an old uh, soccer game I used to play when I was younger. It was really just text and uh, a lot of noises. I think it was called World Football or something like this, really with just a UI. There are not enough of these simple games available anymore. Although we see a few problems here and there, I kind of like how this is done. Um, it is really an old school manager. Um, would you mind rating? Uh, no, sorry, not today. It is really a game that focuses or an application that focuses on the play aspect and the general game flow. But at least we saw a nice skeleton view <laughs> on that page. So that made me really happy. Um, it is really a bit like the um, Cybercode online game we, we reviewed a few episodes ago. Um, although that game had really great graphics, uh, to be honest. But I understand the creator of this game simply wanted to create 
a super basic cycling manager like he or she had perhaps 20 years ago. That goal is fine, but I still think you need a bit of more graphics, uh, a bit of more explanation. Uh, I don't know how it's rated on the Android App Store. Um, actually quite good. So if you're into cycling and you enjoyed some of those old school managers, perhaps you will get used to uh, the UI a lot quicker than I do. There's really a lot that I could say about the UI, but I feel like um, the creator was really focused on the experience of the game itself. And I find that is a great idea. I always wanted to create something like a Lemonade Tycoon uh, clone. There's not really any good Lemonade Tycoon out there anymore. Check it out, Peloton Cycling Manager, if you're not interested in a great UI, but perhaps in a great free, super basic cycling manager. Next application is called Petly App. Available for iOS. I'm not sure about Android. Haven't seen it so far. It seems to be an application about searching animals a bit like tinder <laughs> So let's get into it Welcome to Petly. Make search for the pack easy and seamless. That's really what I enjoy. You open the application, you get a nice greeting uh, to understand what the application is about in case uh, you just downloaded it from the App Store because the images look good, which most people do. I don't always don't like this if I can move those views around and I feel like this is an ion slide so uh, perhaps there could be done something about this. Anyway, uh, let's do this uh, searching with someone else. Just get started. Uh, can I log in without anything? That would be cool as well. Uh, search, connect, share, adopt. But in general, uh, you can't see it uh, very nice. These fields actually have a nice drop shadow. Um, the buttons look a bit too big and I don't like that much plain text right here. Maybe you wouldn't structure it a bit better. Overall, let's try the sign in with Apple. And there we go to the inside area. Welcome Simon. Well, you got my name from the Apple. That is cool. Uh, get notified. That is also another big plus. Don't just uh, ask for the push permission. Uh, push permissions, right? Uh, but tell the user when you and your partner match on pets you would like to adopt. That's a really important reason, so in that case I would really maybe turn on notifications. <laughs> I don't want to get them soon. Find pets in your area. Um, I feel like I won't find anything in Germany, so what is a zip code that might work? Let's try it with my local code. I don't expect to see any results here in Germany, but let's see how the application fails. Right now it's actually blocking the UI a very long time, most likely because, well, I don't know. <laughs> um, so perhaps in that screen um, a skeleton view would be nicer. Actually, by now, I'm a huge fan of having some sort of skeleton instead of this loading, which completely blocks the application. Some years ago, that would be uh, that would have been my default. Uh, if I do some kind of loading, let's just block the UI and forbid any other action. But you see, I'm now stuck on this screen. I can't do anything. I can't even check out the other pages, which might be possible in the background. Um, and therefore, I just have to kill the application now and restart it, which isn't really cool. Second try, let's see. Uh, I feel like I'm now stuck. That's a real bummer. All right, completely uninstall the application as I couldn't use it. If you make any API calls and you get back an error or you get, don't get back results, always make sure to catch that error because as you've seen, I was completely stuck in that application and couldn't use it. I really had to uninstall it. Now I want to try it with a, let's say zip code from San Diego. So that was what Google said, uh, although I don't feel like the other codes look more legit. So let's try this one. Um, perhaps there's something going on in the United States. I don't have a code, no. And there we go, back to searching for animals. And yes, uh, I love Google for getting me those fake zip codes. Okay, we see the nice Tinder swipe effect working perfectly uh, with that little paw coming up in red or... Oh, oh, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Uh, what can I do? Uh, Gala. Uh, looks actually... Which direction is good and which is bad? I don't know. <laughs> I guess that is good. Uh, let's say this is bad. Oh, you look kind of cute, baby munchkin. Oh, you also. Clyde. Oh, you look crazy. 
Yeah, that looks like the dog. I've seen this dog somewhere. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, nah. All right. Uh, how can I do something else? I can also filter by cats. I can filter for a lot of things. Um, I like it when I got these uh, filters where I can quickly select something. So I don't know if they're called punch buttons, but they always feel pretty good on a mobile device and you can quickly uh, transform your selection. Although this button is a bit too small at the bottom, I would maybe fix that and make it a bit bigger. Um, oh, nice. Now I'm on the cat view. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see matches. Uh, to start seeing matches, please connect your account with a partner. I don't know who or what my partner is, but this application is kind of straightforward. Uh, it uses uh, even these uh, cool iOS functionalities uh, where you got the title first and big and once you scroll up you got it up there. You got a nice color scheme across the application with that color. Everything's really working great. You even got this, oh that was pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't look that smooth when uh, reflected to my Mac. But overall, it looks pretty cool. Maybe on that card, I would somehow disable that or make this a parallax effect once you scroll up. But overall, the card UI looks pretty cool. Here's the text floating above the card. That's a little issue. Uh, whoever added about Lucille and Barry bonded pair, uh, well, a bit too long for a title, <laughs> perhaps. If you want to see a cool UI built with Ionic, go check it out. And if you like pets and this application works in your area, give it a try, Petly app, and support the creator. All right, last application of the day is called Mimio or Mimio, whatever. It's from the creator who also made the nice Scuba Doo game, I think, which used Phaser in the background. Um, so I kind of wanted to check this out and see uh, because the screenshots were also pretty interesting. Let's give this a try. Uh, why? No, it's actually really that blurry. The images are that blurry. I'd really like to know which API is in the background here or if this is just a server. But anyway, we can switch between trending. Yeah, a nice little loading. Uh, I really like that one. So what can I do? There looks to be a nice editor uh, within the application. Um, add text. Oh, okay, up here. The three dots weren't really that clear. Hello world. That's really how the meme works, right? And I can drag this above it. I don't know which JavaScript package was used here, um, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you would like to see this. So if you were the creator of this game, please speak up in the comments. Um, because this is an epic editor for game, um, no, for images overall. So with this small, big, and close it, um, really, I, I really enjoy this. What can we do as well? Image, camera, album, uh, background. Okay, I can. Oh, that wasn't my intention. I wanted, to, I wanted to have uh, my image. I'm too fast. Um, I don't know. This bar is really small. It looks a bit like the web from a lot of years ago. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed these kind of uh, tools. What can I do as well? I can put on a sticker. That's one of my favorites. Good old Bernie. That's really, that. that's looking like Bernie, isn't it? <laughs> really, the application is not bad. It, it works pretty good. There are no lags. It feels completely like a native application. And from what I know, this is definitely an eraser with, we got this glass. There are so many cool packages used in this application. I could create like like five tutorials uh, alone on the things used within this application, right? Is anyone interested in, in figuring out what's going on in this app? Uh, please speak up in the comment. We got ads in here as well. Uh, we got a side menu for more ads and purchases and Chinese? Isn't it isn't spelled Chinese a bit different? I don't know. Perhaps that is some sort of joke or not joke. I really don't know. And also there's a lot of text here that I can't really read. Let's go back to English. Once again, an application that is really useful. Um, from the UI perspective, there's really not much you need to do in this kind of application. The most important part is definitely uh, this editor and this editor works pretty great with all the different functionalities that we've seen like erase, flip, um, change the size, uh, add objects. 
I don't know if this is a canvas or something going on. These overlays are also pretty nice, um, kind of cool, um, although the application is pretty old already. But anyway, a very cool meme generator. Uh, I might use this in the future, you should check it out, meme generator as well. Support Ignacio de Dijon, de 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 and perhaps if you watch the video, let us know how you accomplished editing images like this within an Ionic application because I'm sure a lot of us would like to know more about that. All right, and that's it for today's episode of App Review. I really like the meme generator. I will definitely play around with it a bit more and try to figure out what was used within that application because it's really something that I would like to use as well. If you want to see more, if you got a dip, uh, 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 if you've developed an application yourself, leave a note in the comment and also, of course, support the creators of these applications. As far as I know, all of them were built with Ionic. So this week build a cool application or submit it to me for a next app review and I will catch you next week like always so happy coding Simon <laughs>